Hello technology enthusiasts group. Today I will talk about creating a sensor and actuator network that can be remotely controlled and monitored from across the world. We will break down the workshop into eight short segments of about five minutes each. First of all, I would like to thank Sonic Malla for organizing and providing me the opportunity to, this, to give this tag talk. The audience of this talk is as the name indicates, technology enthusiasts who want to learn about designing and developing systems using the Raspberry Pi for personal use. I firmly believe programming and system design is just a tool. People from different backgrounds and skill levels can self-learn to develop systems from free and open source software components and hardware that is readily available. Definitely, students who study computer science or do this professionally may still find the content helpful uh, as a refresher. This talk is generally intended for an audience who don't have a background in computer science and programming. I have been fortunate to be surrounded by students and colleagues who are just beginning their high school studies uh, some of you are finishing up your physics or mechanical engineering undergraduate or graduate degrees. Uh, you remind me of my high school days when I first fell in love with tinkering um, with software and electronics. The agenda for today is the system that we are going to design and code. What do you need and how much does it cost? the block diagram, the user interface, server architecture and code layout, client architecture and code layout, integrating it all together, testing the subsystems at the interfaces, and summary. On what we are going to design, purely for learning purposes, we are going to design a sensorized garden system. It will have pumps to pump water from reservoirs and sensors to measure moisture, temperature, light levels, and humidity. This is a fun project for me because my mother is a botanist and I grew up spending a lot of time in our home indoor and outdoor gardens. One of the first projects I did as a high school kid was to control a pump. It was a purely electrical control system for detecting the water level in a well. I followed a tutorial like this in a hobby electronics magazine popular in South Asia called Electronics For You. I encourage the audience to get their hands and minds occupied and try this, not just for this particular problem definition, but also for other similar problems. In fact, this project follows a system I architected for a Massachusetts Institute of Technology student entry to a NASA competition to drill for ice on Mars. I would like to thank the kind support from various organizations we have received for that project. We use the same system to control robot positions, drills, heaters, water pumps, and read sensor data such as vibration, power consumption, and drilling force. In a test we are planning in a few months, thanks to our friends from the Asclepius project, analog astronauts will control the robotic system from across the Atlantic using the internet. Now back to the system we are describing in this talk. I named the system Avedi. For those who are not familiar with engineering projects, the system designers often name their projects and products to refer to them conveniently. The code for the project is open source and is available in the linked GitHub address. What does AVD do? The two main functional areas of AVD are to continuously monitor plants and provide them with the water they need automatically. Another function is for the data on temperature, humidity, light, and soil conditions to be available for remote monitoring and to be able to perform manual interventions remotely if needed. If you are interested to learn more, join us for part two of this talk.